guys, it's your girl Ro, and welcome back to another Uncensored Eats cooking video tutorial. It has been a while since I have done a video, but today is a very special day. Today is National Fried Chicken Day. And I am super, 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 super excited. I love fried chicken, and I wanted to do a very special fried chicken. Well, special to me. Um, today I will be doing lemon pepper fried chicken with chili honey. But before we get into this video, please leave it a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend and hit the notification down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. So let's get into cooking and seasoning and all the great things that goes with food. Let me introduce to you guys my ingredients. I have leg and thighs here that was cleaned in lemon water with a bit of vinegar, salt, and some water and this was cleaned up and it was soaked for about 30 minutes before I drained it, rinsed it off under cold running water and pat dry them. I have Obey seasoning right here. I have lemon pepper seasoning, uh, sweet paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, some chopped garlic, three whole eggs, red chili flakes. I have some picked thyme and picked rosemary in here and I have my homemade buttermilk that I'll be using for my chicken. I also have my flour with cornstarch. I love adding panko and cornstarch to my flour whenever I do fried chicken and the reason for that is it gives it a really nice crispy 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 texture but before I get into seasoning my chicken I wanted to point something out to you guys. The homemade buttermilk I have right here is not made from cream like the conventional one this is actually made from coconut milk i will be doing a separate video and how i made this coconut buttermilk so stay tuned for that before i get into seasoning my chicken i actually want to show you guys what i do to my oil before i start frying this method is what i like to call pre-seasoned oil and i'm going to head over to my stove side and i'll show you guys what i mean by pre-seasoning here we are guys we're on my stove side this is my oil it's been on for about 30 minutes and I pre-seasoned my oil, and what I mean by that is I add three sprigs of thyme, two sprigs of rosemary, I add four garlic cloves and I cut it in half. I added a scotch bonnet pepper, six allspice berries, and I added a bay leaf. You can use any chili pepper you want. I just like adding scotch bonnet pepper for that extra, you know, Caribbean, Jamaican island feel to my food. <laughs> and I do this because... It helps, gives your chicken a lot more flavor. So not only would you bite into a really nice crispy chicken, but you will bite into a chicken that is bursting with flavor. Once my seasonings in my oil is like a little bit darker, I will remove them and get ready for frying. So let's head on over back to our prep station so we can get to season our chicken and making this just delicious. All right guys, it's seasoning time and I am ready to get my hands dirty. My hands are a little bit ashy, but that's fine. <laughs> I've been washing dishes and get my hands wet this whole time. I'm going to add some Obey seasoning to my chicken. And there goes my oven. I'm going to add some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Sweet paprika. Lemon pepper, and crushed garlic, or diced garlic, whichever one you have. My picked herbs, a little bit of salt, and a pinch of black pepper. In this container right here, I am going to crack my eggs. cover you can use a whisk if you want you can use a fork if you want but I like to put it in a container and shake it and voila and we're going to pour our egg over a chicken since we're using honey for our sauce we're going to add a little bit of honey mustard to this chicken And some of my buttermilk. 
Now it's time for the dirty part. I'm just going to start mixing. So you want to mix your chicken until it is coated. Coated. Really, really good. Uh, this looks so good. Wow. And our chicken is all seasoned and it's ready for the refrigerator. I am going to let this rest in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes for it to all come together. It is best if the chicken is left overnight. Prior to frying, you want to remove your chicken 15 minutes before it hits the hot oil. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes and we are back. In this bowl, again, I have panko, I have flour and cornstarch. I am going to season my flour, panko, and cornstarch mixture with some garlic powder, onion powder, some obey seasoning, a little bit of paprika, some lemon pepper, and this right here I'm going to save for my honey sauce. And we're going to mix. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. And we're just going to mix this in. If you look at the flour, it has a mealy texture and that's because of the panko. This is what you're looking for. So we're going to take our chicken, we're going to take some of our buttermilk dressing off of it, and we're going to dump it into our flour. And we're going to cover. You always want to keep one hand dry because you need it to help you coat your chicken. If both hands are wet, then your flour will become clumpy faster. Dust off the excess flour. Land it on the sheet tray. You're going to do this until all your chicken is coated in your flour mixture. Add some flour to the top and you can pat it down. That way your flour sticks onto your chicken. You always want to coat your chicken in batches. All right, guys, now that our chicken is all battered and it is ready for the oil, let me bring it closer so you guys can see what the chicken looks like. That's what it looks like. We're just going to let our chicken rest on the sheet tray and the baker's rack for 10 minutes so it can air dry. All right, guys, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's head on over to our stove side. Let's temper oil and get to frying. Welcome back. We're at my stove side and we're going to temp or oil, you want your oil to be between 325 and 350. Um, 325 is perfect. And my oil is definitely above 325. This is our beautiful, beautiful chicken. And I'm going to put chicken in there. So you want to fry your chicken in batches. If you don't fry your chicken in batches, it will overcrowd your pan and it will release a lot of moisture. I'm just going to add one more piece of chicken. Our chicken is going to fry for 10 minutes. You want your chicken to be golden brown. Once our chicken is golden brown, we're going to put it back on our sheet tray with our baker's rack and bake it in the oven for 15 minutes. And this is what our fried chicken looks like. It is really hot. <laughs> now that our chicken is all done, we're going to move our chicken into our oven and we're going to finish these off for 15 minutes and get ready to plate up. While we're waiting for our chicken, we're just going to get go ahead and get started on her honey. 
sauce. So you want to add the honey into your pan and you want to heat it up just a little, not too much. I'm going to add my red chili flakes, just a little, not too much. My picked herbs. I'm going to give that a stir. That looks really, really, really good. Some lemon zest. And some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Bring your honey to a boil and remove it from the stove. Once you remove the honey sauce off the stove, you want it to rest and come back together just a little. So this is what our honey sauce looks like. You can see the red pepper flakes, you can see the herbs. It tastes really good, you can taste the lemon juice. If you want more lemon juice in it, you can squeeze the other half of the lemon into it. If you don't, then this is just perfect. All right guys, our chicken is done. I plated up uh, some of my chicken. The chicken rested for about 10 minutes before I plated it up. This is my lemon chili honey sauce once it was rested, so like all the froth is out. I am going to take some of my honey sauce and drizzle it over my chicken. Alright guys, this is my lemon pepper chicken with my chili lemon honey sauce and happy national fried chicken day again it's your girl Ro. please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share tag a friend to tag a friend hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time i upload a new video thank you guys so much for the love and support i see you guys in my next video bye